Modding Series, Geonosian Spy. Hey, let's get this in, guys. What's going on? Welcome back to the battalion at Fort Mort. It is time to knock out the next guy. I am Mort, as you know, your commander. We are going to talk about the spy today. And as we talked about with Alpha in the first one, health is an important one, but health and protection both, but spy is your damage dealer. He's the one that removes them buffs and debuffs and hits that huge when he's under stealth, smack and crack. Uh, let's, I've got the stats up here on top, and I'm going to show the big shot of it uh, at the end of the video so you guys can see that. It's right here. So I'll share that with you at the end. But let's get this started. Let's talk about him. Faint is basic deal. Now, keep in, guy, keep in mind, guys, Geonosians, every time they assist, they always use their basic. They always use their basic abilities. So that's very important to remember. What are they doing on their basic? It's, it's key for Poggle, Soldier, Sun Fox specifically, and for Alpha. Spy. He's got deal physical damage to target enemy and Geonosian Spy gains critical chance up for two turns. Critical chance is huge, huge for him because if he gets his crit up, obviously he's going to do more crit damage. So we'll get into that as well. Silent Strike. This is his big one. Deal physical damage to target enemy of Geonosian Spy is stealth when this ability is used. Keep in mind, you've got to watch this guy. He'll trick you where somebody will pull him out of stealth or if he doesn't crit, he doesn't go into stealth. So if he's not stealth, he's not going to hit nearly as hard. He's got to be stealth. Uh, when this ability is used to spell all status effects, that's uh, debuffs and buffs on himself and the target. And for each one that he takes off himself and off of the target, he hits for 40% more damage. It's a humongous hit. All right. This ability cannot be evaded. Inflict evasion down as his hive. I'm sorry, his hive mind bonus. Inflict evasion down on the target for two turns after all other effects have been dispelled. That is his monster hit. Listen, Intel grant all separatist allies. Keep in mind, that's not just Geos, but Separatists. Uh, grant them all potency up for two turns. This obviously helps out Gene Ocean Brood Alpha. That's why I didn't recommend too much, because this does help him as well. And then expose all enemies for two turns. This ability can't be evaded. Reduce Silent Strike's cooldown by one. Silent Strike obviously being this one right here. So if you're one turn away, you can use this one in order to get him to go right back and uh, take him out. Hive Tactics. He does not have a Zeta. By the way, as a reminder, the only Zeta on this team actually is Brood Alpha. He's got two, and you only need one of those, as we talked about. Geonosian Spy gains stealth for three turns at the start of each encounter whenever he scores a critical hit. So keep in mind, he's in stealth right off the bat. You shouldn't lose him unless somebody pulls him out of stealth, and you lose the taunt. You've got two taunters on this team. You've got Sunfa, and you've got uh, uh, Brute. During their turn, whenever a Geonosian ally inflicts a debuff on an enemy, Geonosian Spy gains 35% turn meter. Keep this in mind, guys. This is why speed is not important on Spy. During their turn, whenever Geonosian ally inflicts a debuff on an enemy, Geonosian Spy gains 35% turn meter. It's huge. Every one of the Geos, for the most part, uh, can drop uh, debuffs down, including Alpha with his, with his uh, Glaive. Whenever an enemy is exposed, they lose stealth if they had it. That's another huge one as well. Excuse me, still getting over a cold. All right, so as for recommendations for this guy himself, offense is good. Um, speed is not totally necessary. Potency is not no, uh, totally necessary, but it is needed. But his crit chance, as you can see, mine's up around 81%. I added an extra 34.45 through uh, through those stats. If you guys aren't aware of that too, all of your mods, your stats that are added up here, plus their kit. Plus their, sometimes their kit gets added in, sometimes it doesn't. Depends how the kit works. And then critical damage, you can use some of that as well. The more critical damage you have on him, the better off you're going to be. Uh, mine in particular, that's what I've got. I, I went with crit chance rather than crit damage. Uh, and, and that's where it should be, in my opinion. Because you can't if you can't crit, then you're not landing any crit damage. So you need to have a cr high crit chance in order to actually nail that uh, crit damage. Characters that have low crit chance need a ton of offense. That's the key. If you, a lot of people misunderstand that. In order to crit, you've got to have crit chance. If you've got a ton of crit damage and no crit chance, you're wasting your mods. All right, so let me get that off the screen, put the original one back up there. Let me uh, drink something real fast. Excuse me. So Spy has to say stealth, meaning high crit chance uh, on him as well. So I've got him at high crit chance, plus he's getting it out of his kit. Speed not needed is the team debuffs and passes turn meter to Spy. So my speed minimum goal is about 170. That's actually where mine's sitting right now. Everybody's going to have a different recommendation for speed, guys. But honestly, he doesn't need it. He gets turns like crazy. And plus, everybody's assisting. Uh, again, priority health. First, protection. Second, if you can't fit it, that's fine. Uh, arrow offense. 
um, or speed. It's up to you how you want to do it. I like an offense one on him personally because you don't need that extra speed in my opinion. So I went with offense first. If you most most people are farming speed mods, so you may get stuck with one for a while, but I do suggest an offense mod on him. Crit chance triangle. You can also do crit damage if you've got a enough crit chance. You can afford to put crit damage on there as well, but I highly suggest crit chance. Crosswise, you've got um, offense or potency. Potency is decent. I would 100% re recommend offense, but if you just absolutely do not have uh, an offense cross to a forward, then you are going to want to go with the uh, potency as well. Secondary stats, you're going to be wanting to add, add more crit chance. Obviously, we talked about because he's got to hit hard. Offense is going to be next. Health and potency followed by protection and speed last. I do recommend four crit damage mods and two crit damage, as you know, or if you don't know, for you got to have four of the crit damage mods in order to get to 30% extra crit damage and then two extra mods for uh, eight extra percentage. So that is your Geonosian spy. He does not have a Zeta relic priority. I put him in a five basically because he's a mid game character. You should be able to take out if you're farming your malevolence and shipping harder. You shouldn't have to go to relic too soon, but if you want to do it for the ship, be my guest. That's up to you. It's your account. You play it how you want, but you don't necessarily need it. He does hit like a truck. A lot of people are a huge fan of this guy. Me personally, I'm a fan of the brute, but in the meantime, uh, that is your modding for spy. If you have any questions, put them down below guys. I'd be more than happy to answer them for you. It's a really easy kit for the most part on Geon ocean spy. Uh, next, I think we will be doing, I want to do another ship character. Uh, tomorrow's video will be actually, I'll make it a surprise, but in the meantime, this is here for you guys right now, watching this video, get in there, fix your mods on your characters. Don't make me say it again. Much love to you guys. We are one battalion strong till tomorrow. Oh, don't forget. Show me some love, man. Hit that follow button. Shut up and sit down.